donkey. So the Bible tells us, and Saul and his servant went and they looked all over for the donkey. How many of us are looking all over for that which we need? For many years are we not finding it. Today is your day. Today is your day, hallelujah. If there is someone here today will dare to believe, I'm saying to you that today is your day because there is always a day appointed, hallelujah, for your deliverance. And I can sense today that God is delivering someone here today. That which you lost for many years, many weeks, many months, that which have been invading you all along, but today is your day that God is going to give you direction. And matter of fact, the problem or the situation you're in is just a setup for great things that God have in store for you. Hallelujah. Praise God. So the Bible tell us in verse 5 that finally, hallelujah, chapter 9, I said, yes, 1 Samuel chapter 9. Sorry if you didn't hear that. I'm in verse 5 now. So the Bible tell us that finally they enter into a particular region. Praise God. Hallelujah. Imagine they're looking all over for this donkey and they enter into this particular region. Hallelujah. Praise God. Looking all over. Like we have 10 regions here in this country. And imagine you have to look all 10 regions to find that which you're looking for. Here we see, hallelujah, Saul and the servant. They're looking into all the region. There, but the Bible said that finally, oh praise. How many of you know that there's an end to what you're going through? Oh, praise. You see, many of you can't shout because you don't believe that. Because, you know, you've been in this situation so long. You're in that problem so long. And people are wrong you. From the time you have sense, you see them in it and they're dying. So you believe that your situation is the same. But how many of you know that your case is different? Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, praise so the Bible. Tell us, finally, oh God, they enter into this region. Oh, praise God. And they're, and they're, and they're looking and they're, they're inquiring. The Bible tells us, and Saul said to the servant, let us go home. Praise God. How many of us, as we go through life, we lost faith and we lost hope and we decide to go home. But today I want you to know, you will not go home, but you're going to the next level. You're not going home, but you're going higher. You're not going home, but you're going greater. I want you to know, hallelujah, that God is saying to someone here today that this is not a time to give up. This is your month of recovery. And as you keep going forward, no matter of fact, hallelujah, uh, the, the reason why you want to give up is because your blessing is there. Your breakthrough is there. Your turnaround is there. Anytime that God is about to bless you and to open doors, the devil come to this encourage someone but I want to remind someone here today that as you keep going forward and as you keep trusting God that your miracle and your breakthrough and your turnaround is right around the corner Hallelujah is right round the corner. So here we see that this great man, hallelujah, Saul, as he looked all over, so like so many of us, for many years, we're seeking for our finance, we're seeking for our health, we're seeking for our business, we're having problems in our marriage, and all that is going on, and we say, you know what? I give up, I'm fed up, I'm done with this here, I ain't got time with this no more, but I'm here to announce to someone, oh, you may finish what is happening, but God is about to bless Bless you. God is about to turn things around. All is not lost when it's with God. With God, all things are possible. And right at the end, oh, hallelujah, of your road that you're about to give up, it is where God is about to step in. And right now, I'm, I can sense that God is about to step into someone's misery, step into someone's problem, step into someone's situation, step into your problem, and God is about to do something new for you today. Hallelujah. But you know, here we see that Saul is the one that was supposed to lead in the servant. Hallelujah. And the Bible tells that Saul said to his servant, let's go home. By now our father is more worried. Oh, praise God. 
about us than the donkey. But I want you to know today that everything that belongs to you, you will have it this season. You will not go back empty handed. You will not return empty. Everything, every blessings of God that I said to the, the membership class on Sunday that all the blessings of God is for the people of God. It's not for the angels, not for Jesus or God, but every blessings of God that is in the word of God is for 